Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate Sample Exam Question number 8. In this question, you have to modify the assembly which you have already created for question number 7. What you have to change are the degrees of A, B and C. And then you have to check again the center of mass. This time you will have to enter the values. So we are going back to our assembly. <coughs> and A should be 30 degrees. We are going to make first angle is which is corresponding to A. We go on edit feature and change the value to 30. This is one way to change it. B should be 115 degrees. The other option is not with edit feature, but with double click and you will see the angle here, which should be how much it was 115. And 135 is C. If you click on the part, you will see all the relations here. So you can click here also and edit feature. And it's 135 degrees. Now, once we are ready, we have to always rebuild we have to rebuild and check the mass properties. And here we have a center of mass 327.67 for X. Let's see the answer. So X correct, Y is also correct and Z is also correct. With this, when we enter these values, we will be ready with this question. Reminder, don't forget to check well what kind of separator you have to use. If you, you, if you have to use comma, which is usually the case, but you type a dot instead of that, you will have a wrong answer. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.